say things like we fell in love. But guys, the truth is when you fall, you fall off a curb and you usually fall into ditches. It's not love. Yes, there are moments in a relationship where a couple was caught off guard and so overwhelmed by the awesomeness of the person that they felt as though they had no control over this intense feeling that they had and it is said that they fell in love or they were swept off their feet. Now, as hard as it may be to believe and as unbelievable as this may sound, we will not always feel in love with our spouse or with our significant other. But guys, I know that doesn't apply to you two today, so we're good, right? <laughs> we're good. Right. Well, here's the deal. If this feeling of love remains nothing more than a feeling, the truth is it will pass with the seasons that come and with the storms that you're going to encounter. And trust me, you're going to encounter some storms. Truly, guys, love's more than a feeling. It's an intentional action. It's a choice. Marriage is a work in progress. A couple doesn't begin marriage with perfect love. Love is hard work. Sometimes love will mean that you are going to have to adjust. And Jen, it will mean you will not always get your way. Actually, no, let me take that back. Dan. <laughs> Dan, that's not true. Jen will always get her way. Right? And you're gonna have you're gonna have to adapt, and uh, of all the audibles that she's gonna be calling. You. All right, but seriously, your love for each other must be nurtured, and it must be cared for. You can't place it on a, a shelf and expect it to thrive on its own. It requires special attention and a lot, a lot, a lot of intentionality. Now, it, it's been said that that love sustains the marriage, but I want to. I want to challenge that thought, okay? Let me say this. It's not love that sustains the marriage, but the marriage that sustains your love for one another. Let me say that one more time. It's not love that sustains the marriage. It's your marriage that sustains your love for one another. Now, as much as we, as much as we love this idea, they live happily ever after. As ending to stories, guys, life teaches us that's, that's not always the case. Feelings come, and feelings go. Moods change, circumstances change, but the commitment that you're publicly displaying and internally making to each other is what's going to sustain you. So hear that. Today, guys, a lifelong process starts on becoming married. Or in other words, becoming the right person for each other. We're told in Malachi 2 that marriage is a covenant. Malachi goes on to say in verse 15, he says this, he says, So guard yourself in your spirit, and do not break faith with the wife of your youth. As this word covenant is not used as frequently as the word promise is, but guys, covenant, it's, it's much deeper. It's a much deeper and much more significant promise. Guys, a promise can be temporary, but covenants are special commitments that are not temporary or conditional. A marriage covenant is more than just an attraction. It's more than a feeling. It represents a secure anchor that will hold this relationship in place. The wedding vows that you're about to exchange with each other are simply an articulation of this deep covenant. The anchor that's going to provide you a steady assurance for you in the storms that you will encounter. And as you already know about the storms of life, they're always present as either we're currently preparing to go into a storm or we're currently in one or we're getting ready to come out of one. Jen and Dan, you cannot become who you were created to be without God as the center of your life. Likewise, guys, your, your, your marriage cannot become all, all that it could be without God as the center. This type of union happens when God has joined you together. This union is a start the starting point of you becoming one. Now that sense of becoming is, is possible and purposeful when God joins you together. Guys, if God is your sinner, I would encourage you to submit and surrender to him daily and become one the way that he destined you guys to be. Now, we're at the good part. You both prepared vows that you're going to say to each other. You guys memorize those, correct? Right? Oh, yeah. right. You guys, are you ready to make this covenant with each other? All right, Dan and Jenna, how do you face each other? 
Dan, I'm going to have you go first, my friend. Okay. Will you share your vows with Jen? Jennifer, I love you so much. And I'm so happy that this day is finally here. You're so beautiful. I'm so thankful that God brought us, you into my life. And I can't wait to call you my wife for the very first time and for all the years to come. I vow to do my best to always lift you up and never let you down, to honor and cherish you, and to always be faithful. I promise to make you feel like you are enough. Everything that you are is everything that I fell in love with. I vow to always protect you and to put your needs before my own. I vow to make you happy, make you laugh, and to always be there for you, no matter what. I vow to keep God at the center of our marriage and our lives, and to always rely on him for strength and guidance. Most of all, I vow to actively love you, wholly, unconditionally, and always intentionally. From this day until my last day, and for all of eternity, I'm not the perfect man, and I won't be the perfect husband. I'm not always patient and kind. Sometimes I get jealous, boastful, proud, and rude. <laughs> I can't give you a love that's perfect, but I can promise you that I can give you a love that will never, ever give up. <laughs> Through the good times and the bad, I vow to make my life forever yours and to build my dreams around you. I promise to be the man that I see in your eyes today, forever and always. I love you. God created us two imperfect people to fit together so perfectly. From the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful that I have been blessed with you. Thank you for your constant support and unconditional love. Thank you for pushing me out of my comfort zone and helping me grow even when I resist it. Thank you for helping me put God first and for being my best friend and a wonderful person to do life with. Thank you for always reassuring me that I am enough. You love and care for others and put their needs above your own, and I am so thankful to have you as a husband who loves so selflessly. I vow that through all things, I will love you unconditionally. I will support you, honor you, and respect you. Respect you. I promise that I will give you what you deserve, even when it's difficult. I promise that I will always try to keep things that you need in my purse, especially <laughs> when you're hangry. <laughs> I vow to help you grow, to inspire you, to bring you closer to God each day, and to be the best wife that I can be. I vow that I will be your best friend from now until eternity. I can't wait for a future together. I love you. Hey, Robbie, you have the rings, right? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> These rings right here, guys, are an outward, visible, invisible sign of an inward and invisible grace, which unites two hearts in love. They are especially significant because the circle of these rings is a symbol of the unending and enduring quality of love that you both share with each other. Now, Jen, I'm going to give you this ring right here. That's a cool ring. <laughs> Place it on Dan's finger and say these words after me. Dan, I give, I give you this ring as a sign of my love, as a sign of my love and faithfulness. And faithfulness. Dan, I'm going to give you this ring. And I'm going to ask you to repeat 
few doors after me. Place that one. We'll go ahead and place it on the Phoenix. All right. And say these words, Jen, I give you this ring. Jen, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And faithfulness. made your, your vows to each other. You've heard me say that, that love truly is more than a feeling. We're here. You, you both declared everything before God and also before your friends and your family. You made a covenant to each other and it symbolized this covenant by exchanging these rings. So, without further delay, it's my great privilege and joy to pronounce you man and wife. For God is joined together, let no man separate. Dan, you may most definitely kiss your bride. Now guys, before we officially seal this deal, um, each of you have some bubbles. Might get your bubbles ready. We're going to have a bubble party here. Did you get a bubble party? Dan and I got Jen back somewhere. down the aisle. So I lost get those bubbles ready because it I lost is my, all my great bubbles. pleasure. Pull it out. Pull it out. Here. Did everybody get, did everybody get them out? Yeah. All right. Them out. It's my great pl pleasure to announce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Dan O'Neill. Yeah. Yeah.